guys, Hex Competitive back in today, and today we're going to be talking about Boku Daka Inimashi, a little review, episode 7. So, basically we start off where we left off, literally like, same, same as that spot, actually a few seconds earlier, so yeah. Now, <laughs> this episode, uh, we still don't find out who the killer is, but as soon as we start off, he said, he, he's, you know, they're like, what are you, what are you, what are you saying, what do you want, you know, because he keeps starting whispering to himself, he's like, one more time. It's kind of like, wait, what? It's like, oh, he must be talking about revival. He says, let me revival one last time. So I'm wondering if this is the last time he's to be able, be able to use revival, period, in Boku Dake Inemachi. I'm, so I'm really, 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 really interested why he said one last time. Is it because he can only, does he only have like two times or like one chance to stop a certain event? Oh, I think, I'm thinking that's what it actually is. He only has one chance to stop a certain event. After you, after you try to attempt it once, he can't stop it again. Like he has, n he has no right to, you know, try to stop it. So he actually goes back to the past, and he's in the school, you know, he's in the school uh, setting again. And once again, he's trying to save Hinazuki, which I never saw this coming. I didn't think he was to go back to the past to save Hinazuki, you know, presumably. And I did not think that was going to happen. Now, the blonde-haired kid kind of basically figures him out. He and then. He tells the blonde haired kid that hey, he basically says, "I'm I'm me from the future." He ba he doesn't say it directly, but he says it you know indirectly. Basically says that. So, and now he uh, so towards the end of this, or right in the middle now, he gets through the party. He goes through everything you know, everything he already went through, and he's just you know he's paying more more attention to detail. He's not getting lost in his past. He's really concentrating on his past and. Making sure he does a, a few things different, and he's trying to find out, find out who this killer is. And he actually wants to kill Hinazuki's mom, or at least hurt her really bad. He's gonna push her down those the hundreds of flights of stairs. And the blonde haired kid actually stops him because the blonde haired kid's working with him up until this point. Now, this this is a very interesting scenario because he says, "Can I kidnap you?" So he kidnaps her, him and the blonde haired kid, and. They're supposed to technically not have anything to do with it, and she's staying in this old bus that's furniture and everything. And what really gets me towards the end of this episode, well, no, wait, first off, no one calls the cops, which is really weird, so it's obvious her parents don't give two shits about Hinazuki, like, piece of shits, bro, like, their parents, dude, are fucking pieces of fucking shits, honestly, like, wow, three days, you don't, you, they don't care, like, what, what was their life like I, I, I'm interested as to what their past was like where the hell are they just fucking crazy are they Satan spawn or like what are they yeah are they Lucifer's child like what's what's with these people and he says you know he, he kind of gives Hinazuki a signal like hey when I when I knock it's gonna be three knocks and she kind of wakes up wakes up in the middle of the night at the end she's like she's like is that you and next thing you know it's not her it doesn't go any farther. It shows the person opening the door, but he has the hat on and black jacket, and it looks like the guy from the future it doesn't show his. Looks like the guy from the present that you see whenever uh, he's getting arrested. Now, it looks like he's dressed up like him. So, mm, things are getting crazy. The ending cliffhanger every. Every fucking time, cool thing. So yeah, so be sure to go watch Boku Dake Inemashi. If you guys do not like subbed, go. This series, I don't know if it's getting dubbed. So this is definitely worth watching. It's it's crazy, especially if you're like you like investigation shows, like a CS CSI, NCIS. I think this is even better though. Like really, the way it's written, there's literally no plot holes. Like they did it so they did it in a way where you can't have plot holes, and they well they. Not necessarily did it in a way that you can't have plot holes, but they did it in a way like anytime you have an argument for a plot hole, they could argue well this and this didn't take place or because because they're con I mean he can use revival he could he can always revert like any plot hole you may think you found which honestly I really can't find a plot hole I mean character development is getting there there's certain there's just two characters uh, I can't remember the girl's name she, she I mean she's bonding with him now the main character. Uh, was it food food I can't remember his last name is Satori I think though Satori was his actual name first name but you see he's starting to work with her things like that he's he's starting to think straight rather than just kind of using revival and he's not getting lost in the sauce as some rappers would say no, he's not getting lost in the past 
So, I mean, you do see that character development, and, I mean, there's only really two characters you can develop, so, there's this, I don't know, really good, no plot holes, I mean, and not, I mean, nothing's perfect, but, like, what the hell, no plot holes, let's go, as always, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, at Hex25, and, ba bam hit that subscribe button, mother, and as always, if you think there's, Maybe you think there's a plot hole. Maybe you think I'm wrong, but I'm not so Bias 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 nice no, kidding honestly if you guys if you guys can get one find one plot hole And you want to make an argument argument with me in the comment section I will be very interested to see that because that I think they've done fantastic job with anime. I just <sighs> Kudos to anyone pictures. I mean Damn. I'll see you guys next video. Have a good night. Peace or day because it's going up tomorrow or Saturday. Peace.